and then I, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just like I'm here. Like what you gonna do? It's so funny, y'all. <laughs> I do. I do. Y'all believe like he's looking, at, looking for me. I tell you, I don't take no hours, man. I take no fucking hours. <laughs> Nigga said, yo, <laughs> yo, I got a lot of people mad right now. Like, I know they like, they they looking at their phone right now like, <laughs> yo, y'all are crazy as hell. They looking at their phone like, <laughs> I know y'all want to hurt me so badly. Y'all want to hurt me. Y'all want to put my hand up. Yeah, I want to pull your hair out. Like I said, look, I'm, I'm going to say this one one thing, right? So people don't get it twisted. Los Angeles, the West Coast, I fuck with y'all. I love you guys. You it's the fuck with fucking clout I ain't, I ain't in LA. Locals, the local rappers. I'm in Midwest, though. I love LA. I, yo, bro, I love LA. I love California. Like, I love it. Fuck you. But you can't go dick riding. Rainbow. And, and, and Skittle say, hair with the lucky you. charms. Uh, you can't be a local. Fucking... And be like, y'all Fruity come pebble here. looking motherfucker. And then I come here, John and y'all can't see me. Like, y'all take an L. Like, you're gonna take an L. If I see someone nigga. can't come to New York, I promise you they can't come to New York. I'll go to you know New what York saying? right now. What happened to Trippy? I told Trippy. I had money. Everyone remembered when I told Trippy, you can't come to New York. Remember when I said that? Remember when he came to New York? What happened? Now, I didn't know what the fuck. I didn't have nothing to do with it, but. When I say someone's not good in New York, people in New York react. People in New York was like, if Takashi said someone can't come to New York, then that's that's what it is. He can't come to New York. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yo, pull up to LA. You can't, pull up to LA, I bet you won't. Pull up to LA, I bet you won't. Pull up to LA, I bet you won't. <laughs> Wanna know why? LA I'm bigger. In, I'm in LA right it's now. It's too big. Oh, yeah, but... Um, you not in LA, you in Terrace, okay? So I'm coming to Hollywood. Oh yeah, but you in Hollywood, but you 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 not here right now, okay? What well, I'm gonna stay there? Oh um um yeah, but you ain't coming to the hood though, nigga. I'm you a ain't coming. Why would I come to the fucking hood? Yeah, whatever, nigga. <laughs> I'm on your millionaire, you won't come. Yeah, but you talking shit to niggas in the hood though, but they ain't gonna come um, here. You still Get for here, you only shit. still for a month. <laughs> Give us two months. <laughs> Give us two months. Give us two months. We got you. <laughs> Give us two months to find you. <laughs> you only stood here for a month. <laughs> niggas gonna beat you up when they catch you, man. They is. Yeah, this shit is so funny. Yo, I know, you know, there's 16,000 people on this live right now. 16,000, right? I bet 13,000 of these people are like on their phones like, any clues, any clues? All you're gonna see is white sheets. <laughs> Y'all crazy. What I bet you your boy rubbing your feet, yeah, ain't My bad, my bad. Everybody come back, come back, come back. Boy, I'm the red hair rubbing your feet, Don't leave, why y'all leaving? I just had a puzzle record, I got a phone call. I got a phone call. Listen, damn. I had something important to say. I had something important to say. Anything you say ain't important. Oh, yeah, but I'm mean, talking about what anyway, color no. dye you use, what color like, brand dye right? you use, nigga. Y'all already know that shit. Y'all already know that shit, but. Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas really thought. Y'all niggas. Yo, look, and I promise you, I swear, I swear on my life right now, bro. God strike me dead. I came here with no security. I swear to my mom, bro. I swear to God, no cross count. I came here with no security. I came here with no more than. I came here with no more than five people. I pro, I put that on. I came here with no more than three people. I put that on everything I love. God strike me dead right now. You know what I'm saying? I came here with more than more than no more than three people. Why are you talking tough? So who, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Why are you talking move. tough for what? What you talking tough for? You want to get your ass beat? That's how I'm Why? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? You know what 
Y'all trying to get so much clues right now. You know what I'm saying? I was looking so for you. I'm trying to get so much. Y'all trying to get so much fucking clues. Like, what y'all, y'all want clues? Somebody said, are you gay sometimes? Yeah, you got <laughs> yellow hair. You got red hair. You got some green right here. You got blue, purple right here. You got um, turquoise right here. Some more yellow, red, green, and blue. Those are your clues. I know y'all so mad right now. Y'all so mad. And y'all know I fuck with... Y'all know I fuck with L.A. There's gangsters in L.A. I fuck with L.A. Y'all know who fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> what the fuck is all that licking tongue? Yo, imagine... Out? Imagine... Imagine... Doing imagine that shit, man. What the imagine, fuck imagine. is up with that? What is imagine, he doing this imagine. for? Yo, Licking his tongue like out like he's I sucking the dick or something, man. Shit. What the fuck? But imagine me. Imagine what the fuck is that? Imagine, imagine me on World Star and the academics and everything. Imagine me like this. Imagine me. Would you cry? Imagine me. Hell like, no, I wouldn't like, cry. Like, I'd laugh. On, 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 on World Star, like Takashi 6 9 just got knocked the fuck out. I'm going to be like, yes. Yes. About time. Imagine. 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 Imagine they're like, yo, Takashi Six Nine just got, Takashi Six Nine just got beat up, and I'm and I'm like this. Imagine, hold on. Imagine I'm like this. Look. Imagine I'm, uh, imagine I'm like this. And like they pulled my 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 my, my hair off, they cut it off, and and, and 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 they beat me up. Imagine. The fuck you licking your tongue out for? What the fuck is that shit for, man? Fuck! Stop licking your tongue at me, nigga. Imagine when, imagine me coming to LA when they said I couldn't come to LA. <laughs> you incognito in LA. You didn't tell her, man. Come on, man. You didn't say, hey, look. You you don't want them to find you. It's a funnies. You don't want them to find you. You don't want them boys to find you. Yo. Yo, I'm about to get screamed at right now. Punk okay. I tell a bitch nigga hold up That part nigga check this out I ain't no hold up on the extra peas nigga I'ma shorten that and get to the straight to the point nigga Your little show I'm pulling up You don't gotta check in but I'ma check in with you nigga I'ma be at that door nigga You better get me in for free nigga If you don't get me in for free nigga fuck you I'm coming through the back I know the promoter I'ma book blood if you don't get me nigga We gonna get to you You think you tough you, you think you the man? Oh, you think because you got a little different color in your hair? Are you the nigga? Nigga, that part. Nigga, you see the jerry curl, nigga. I'm dripping juice, nigga. And on West Side Tree Top, I got juice, nigga. When I come to motherfucking San Diego, nigga, Los Angeles, California, nigga, 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 Hollywood, et cetera, et cetera, we gonna go up, nigga. Fuck what you talking about? We gonna go up, nigga. Check in on that. Nigga, 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 go. Yeah, that part, nigga. Yeah, that part. Nine. Look on the set, cut comment right here. I just right comment here. on the set with the blue check. Cut comment right here. Nigga, Six nine, crying laughing. We don't even. Hey, we don't even want you to check in no more, nigga. We finna fuck you up, nigga. Drop the location, bitch ass, Chuck, nigga. Up you a bitch, nigga. How you gonna comment, but hey, you, you ain't? Charges? What a, what a location at, nigga? Stop posting you in L. A. Nigga, drop the location, nigga. We give two fucks who you with, nigga. You gonna be crying? Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Gay ass, nigga. Where you at? Cuz over here, uh, this nigga 6 9 laughing over here, but ain't trying to do nothing. You's a bitch, nigga. Here go Mo Crips, nigga. We out here, nigga. Mo Crips, we out It's about the kids, man, and that this ain't something that we just jumping on and, 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 and bandwagon because it's going to be the new thing, man. Everybody's yeah. going to start talking about the kids. Everybody, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of the blue, is going to jump up and start trying to do miraculous things for the kids. And guess what we're going to do? We are not going to dish you. We are not going to do anything like that. We're going to applaud you and want you to join forces with us to help us with these kids, man. That's the one thing, man, that we, we've been talking about and we been doing and spank man I, I i wanted people to really know and see that you know there, there's people that there's that we are actually trying to fix our own problem within this hip-hop game and this thing amongst ourselves man and we are trying to work things out man
trying to trying to erase. We gotta the manifest, man. We gotta manifest that energy, you know, into positive energy. You feel me? You know, cause these suckers, they just, they just got us burning our energy, man, on this bullshit. You feel me? So, you know, now that we put light to that, and you know, a, a good portion of Los Angeles knows what's going on. You know, the Hollywood side, they don't know what's cracking, and you're not gonna, you know, people with money and influence, you're not gonna change their their point of view, but which, when you're in touch with the streets and you're in touch with the city and you're in touch with humble people and you're in touch with a, you know, with a good network of good people, then by all means, man, it's going to work out and we can, you know, uh, move mountains, you feel me? So let's go. It's all about the kids, man. Let's not miss the message. Let's not miss the... Um, yeah. the and the opportunity the, and the, the wonderful the, the, the picture really here, You feel me? We got boy out of here. Yeah. We got that... We shut all that down, you know. We we you know, motherfuckers wanna say, you know, uh we didn't catch them, this and that. that's not the point, you feel me? That's not the point. Your motherfucker might might lose a battle, but we went in the war, bro. Exactly. Because you, you war, wanna know bro. why? Believe because that. maybe, man, you know how big man you gotta understand, it's not like going to Bakersfield or going to even a, a bigger city, man. We're in a metropolis. This is a city within cities of cities yeah, of come cities. On, man. Man, man, you, together like instead said, of, you know, there's let's, so let's talk about what he did as the biggest gangster rapper from New York. He came on Hollywood. Even if he did come on Hollywood Boulevard, he was on Hollywood Boulevard skating with little Rome Diddy, with little Mayweather's little skater kid that my son watches on the, on the things, man. That poor little kid could have got caught up in some crazy crossfire or some nonsense, not even knowing, bro. For the kids, so man. We're gonna manifest, for the kids. man. We're gonna manifest, yeah, we're gonna man we're gonna manifest some good energy, man. So then if you know I heard they uh, I seen the drama they brought when when King Little G earlier, I seen a, a post where he's talking about I guess he got in a little scuffle, a little a little a little a bit bop. He got in a little bit bop and and whatever, but he's showing his face. But that's not the thing. I seen his young kid's face behind him that starts the little video for the kids, oh. man. Think about what you got out there together. doing. We got man. some big announcements. Me and the OG got some big big announcements man much love much respect to you know say my og kid frost fuck with him he got a lot of good positivity and a lot of good direction and he you know uh, man I, I respect my og man so much love to the homies and much love to everybody supporting the cause thanks for taking that time man i know you're busy man, i know you're busy doing your thing man we're gonna make it happen we're about to get in Let's get it. We're about to get in the studio. For the kids, man. I'm about to shoot you this flyer, man. I'm about to shoot, I'm about to shoot you the flyer, man. You, you're going to give me the approval and let me know because it's about to be on. Everybody Come in on, LA, we banding together to do something for the kids real soon. We got a big announcement. I love y'all, man. Much Come love, on. much respect for Thank the you, Raza. Y'all already Salute, know. Salute, man. Smacky Loco right there, man. All up. Yeah. That's what it is, man. There you go, man. There you go. So to erase all the nonsense, to let everybody think that it's something else or what, what it really, really is, man. Nah, and like he said, man, we may not have caught up with you to chop it up with you. We, nobody was really going to even do anything with you, just knowing, man. Even if, even say, hey, homie, you're, you're a young Mexicano in the rap game, doing it and getting it in. Everybody's came out to hang out with us and show love and respect. Why this went? Everybody. Everybody's have said. Everybody's came out here and said, "Show love, man." We weren't anywhere out where you don't see us, where you can't come and get us. You guys see us all the time. If you follow me on my IG, I'm everywhere around here by myself, man. Me and the Lord. I don't need a gang, man. Me and the Lord. If the Lord wants me, He takes me. If if you guys come and get me and take me out in the street from over this shit of my music, then guess what, man? I I guess what, man? Then the Lord's gonna take me, and it's my time to go and. Man, then it's time for me to go make a record with Pac, have Mar have Marvin Gaye sing on the hooks. Man, come on, man. What do you think we're going to do, man? And be an angel, man, over all you good ones, man, that had love for me in your real hearts when I really get to go up there and look down and see hearts for real, man. Why wait for all that time now, man? Show me your heart now. I'll show you mine and where I'm at, man, with my love, man, for, for my people. When I said like this for the Ras, I really meant that shit. When I tell you it's not hearsay or and all that shit, man, or you want to hear from the horse's mouth that, man, we're going to come out and do some real big things for the kids, man. Look who I get on the phone in two shakes of a rattlesnake's ass. The homie that everybody 
talking bad on, that he was out there really, really trying to, and he, man, not, not even a point to go look for this kid, man. He's out there to go look for the kid for, for a problem. There's a, oh, you know what I mean? There's a glitch in the fucking matrix. Man, he got paperwork on this kid for, for sleeping with some, for a 12 year old little girl. Come on, man. When that shit goes, then shit like that don't fly. And that's, it's a whole different thing, man. Then as fathers, as forefathers, as hip hop artists from the West Coast, as representation of our Latinos and our people and our raza, if I didn't step up and say something after 200 something people are in my shit asking me daily on a daily about shit. And if I'm going to speak on shit and then finally I'm like, I go and look and I hear what I would call hooks, little hooks. Shoot you, mother. Come on, man. That's not, that's not it, man. That's not it. And I'm not, I'm not knocking mumble rap. I'm not hating on anybody getting theirs or getting their money or doing anything like that. This is not the issue. Morals are involved. Scruples are involved. Integrity of your man, of being a man and are involved. Are you a chomo, man? Are you a child molester? Are we going to let you in our city here and give, be thinking it's cool and you go and you sleep with some underage girls and, and, and make our image of our Latinos and, and what you're doing, being an artist on the hot Billboard 100, bragging that you got three records on, on your thing. You talk about you took a big win. I don't see how, homie. If I went to a city such as Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and I went there and they shut down three of my shows where I was making over 10 to 25 and 30 racks in every one of them, and they canceled every one of those shows, and I couldn't go home and feed Max and Malady and Rhythm and Deja and Shyla and them and come back and bring money to the babies at home, I wouldn't take that as a win at all. I would take that as a big loss. And then I would go home at night and look in the mirror and say, wow, something's wrong. My family and people, that's all Mexicanos down there in Los Angeles. And I, they're not embracing me. No one out there is embracing me. Man, that's, that's, you got to look in the mirror and face yourself for that. You know how proud I was to get up in the morning every day when, when La Raza was number one on Power 106 for four months straight? Back then, there wasn't as much hip-hop as there is now. It wasn't a big clusterfuck of a bunch of fucking music and fake-ass music and dumb-ass music and then good music. It wasn't like that back then. It was just a handful of people doing this 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 game, like doing this rap game. So I feel proud, man, and I could look myself in the mirror. And I went to every city. I never got shut down. I never got a no-fly zone. I would stay in them cities, man, and get myself in trouble. I'd go do a lowrider car show on Sunday, and next Sunday I'd be standing there all fucking in that city still. Embracing all the love, all the love from the girls, all the love from the peeps, all the love from the lowriders, all the love from the clubs, all the love from, the, from my gente, from my people. So you, you call yourself a, a winner out here in L.A.? Nah, Takashi 69 you're full of shit like a Christmas goose. You lost, homie. You you didn't win nothing. You lost. You came out here and, and played a game of hide-and-go-seek with little kids like Rome Diddy and them. There was a gang of G-shit cracking out here in the city. G-shit that would have gave you uh, people credit, street credit, credit out here in L.A. that would have made it cool for you to come for years and years to come. But that that's not the case now, homie. And just because they didn't catch you out here slipping yet, today... Man, LA cats, they real, man. LA's real, man. You don't, you don't even know if somebody from LA is sitting next to you right now, homie. That's how real this shit gets, man. So please don't, please don't think you came out here and you're doing that, man. Dog, you, you really for, for being and your mom letting you do that, man, and, and, and your family and your origin, you trace that all the way back to Jalisco, dog. I've been out there to Mexico, homie, and I ain't never seen anybody like you. Whole lot of Crips, whole lot of gangs here, for real, for real. Look at this Crip. On the set. Crips out here, nigga. Hey! Hey, hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
shit that's been going on and um with a lot of these young niggas out here right and I really don't want to talk about them about the young niggas and their behavior what I'm trying to figure out is where are these motherfuckers parents at now you know I got four kids I got a 25 year old, a 20 year old daughter, and a 15 year old son. And I got Zeno, he's two years old. But like my older kids, right? If they out here doing shit, shit that's suspect, shit that's looking crazy, I'm calling them. Now, you know. My 25-year-old son and my 20-year-old daughter, like they're grown. Well, they think they are. But if they doing some crazy shit, I'm calling them. And I'm speaking my peace. And I'm letting them know that I'm not feeling it. Now, all these, all these young people around the country, the world, but we're gonna talk about here in the States. Like, a lot of these young people are really doing suspect shit. Shit that could get them hurt. Shit that can get somebody else hurt. Shit that can get them in trouble. Just all kind of like nutty shit that I'm sure is being done. A lot of it's being done for attention. I'm trying to figure out while all this is being done, where are their parents? Is anybody picking up the phone? And I'm not here to say no names or whatever about none of these young dudes or young or young women, young ladies. But where are the parents at who are older and who have some type of responsibility to get on the phone with them and say, what the fuck is you doing? Now, of course, it's going to be up to them to listen. You can't make nobody do what they don't want to do. But I'm, I'm, I'm just like, like, are these kids out here with no parents? Are the parents dead? Are they, are they gone? Are they like, where's the mother and father at, man? Is anybody saying anything about this shit? I mean, the problem is, see, when I grew up, I grew up in Academy Homes Projects in Boston and Roxbury. That's when I was like super young. And I would sneak out the house and like all the older the dudes would be on the course they'd be on in the front of the projects. And I would go there and I would just observe. I wasn't supposed to be there. I got my ass beat by my father a couple of times. But I would just go observe and listen. I would listen. These young kids nowadays, they don't give a fuck. I'm sure a lot of y'all are watching this on live. I can say for the most part that my kids listen to me. Sometimes it's it's a struggle. And I get upset because, see, I'm, I'm not the one to be getting disrespected. I'm going to say my piece and I'm going to demand respect for my children. Because I love them. I've been good to them. 
And I know parents out there, I know it's hard. I get it. But it's your responsibility. You brought him here. You just can't bring him here and just say, forget it. Go ahead. Go fuck up in the world and just leave him out there to fucking die. Leave him out there to get fucked up. Leave him out there to get 100 years. Leave him out. There's no guidance. The guidance is this, is this phone, the internet, the blogs, the raps. There's nobody that's telling these motherfuckers, stop it. What you're doing, it makes no sense. I'm just like fucking, I'm just, you know, since I'm 52, I got to live a long time and got to see the 70s, 80s, 90s in here. And I survived that shit. I don't walk around thinking I'm the toughest. I'm not taking no shit from nobody. But I'm not starting no shit with nobody. When I come, I come with respect and I come with love. I've learned that over the years. It wasn't always like that. My father and my mother, God rest his soul, is responsible for kind of me still being alive today because what they instilled in me. If I was out there doing crazy shit, it was always in the back of my mind. I didn't want to disappoint my mother and I was scared of my father. I'm grateful that none of my kids are locked up or I'm grateful that my kids ain't shot and my heart goes out and it bleeds for any parents out there that's lost a child, man, or your child's sitting on, waiting to get on trial for murder or locked up for all these years, man. This ain't what's up. And when is this shit gonna change? When are we gonna be responsible? Where are the fucking parents and the older people? Where are y'all, man? These motherfucking kids who are out here doing crazy shit just didn't get dropped down here from a fucking spaceship. Where's the guidance at, man? All these rappers and all this shit, like, is, is anybody saying anything? Saying, nah, that ain't it. Like, no, I mean, and if they're not listening to you, okay. But you gotta still tell them anyways. Make them feel guilty. Make them think. I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. This is the most chaotic time it's ever been. I mean, back in the 70s and 80s, you know, you could be broker, but the time was better. It, 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 it just was, man. This shit here, this shit is gone. This shit is out of control. All this shit, these young guys out here, and, and it's like, this hip hop was supposed to have been something to save us to take us from the guns and drugs and give us opportunity. See, God did that for us. Now, I'm not gonna get on this religious thing. Or sp God did that, gave us hip hop because we were fucked up when the guns and drugs came. When crack came and guns came, God said, here, take this hip hop. This gonna save y'all. Because if it didn't, we'd be fucked up. Without hip hop, I'd be dead. I'd be gone for locked up. Hip hop saved my life. Now hip hop is killing motherfuckers. The same shit that saved me is actually killing motherfuckers. Hip hop is destroying our communities. This shit is out of control. There's no guidance. And any of you older motherfuckers, if y'all are really pushing these young people out here to do that, y'all motherfuckers is bad. There's no words that can explain y'all. Y'all need, need to be exterminated. If y'all are pushing these kids out here to do this bad shit and this wrong shit, y'all are bad, man. I usually don't get on here for this shit, but it's like, honestly, like, this shit is like, honestly, man, there's no order. Everybody talk about new world order? Nah, this is the no world order. Like, we're fucked up. We can't keep blaming people, blaming the man, blaming, blaming, blaming. Yeah, we know. We know that the, the playing field ain't right. We know the playing field ain't, ain't the same. But yo, we got to take responsibility for us and our own. This shit that's going on now, 
Everybody getting on YouTube, everybody getting on live. Instead of getting on YouTube and live and saying some real shit, motherfuckers is getting on YouTube and live, and I'm talking niggas my age, making it worse, instigating it. Let me tell y'all something, right? We're going to be dead a lot longer than we are on this earth. What the fuck are you leaving? When you're gone, what are they going to say about you, if anything at all? Fuck these blogs, man. Fuck these blogs putting out negative, corny shit. Fuck the internet putting out the funny shit. Me, I'm not even with all that. Fuck all y'all with that. All that funny shit and all that stupid shit, all that making fun of people. And Man, fuck all y'all with that. If y'all come on here with that, fuck all y'all. See, because when I'm out there, see, people, some people talk shit on here, but when I'm out there, don't nobody say nothing. Nothing. And like I said, I'm not Superman, but God knows I demand my respect. And I'm going to get it one way or the other. Now, if it's my time to go, then it's my time to go. I'm going to go join my mom, my homies, and God. I got the password to the gates because my heart is pure and I've helped enough people. I've done way more good than I've done bad. And anybody that I've done bad to deserved it. I'm not here to prove nothing to nobody. I actually give a fuck about people for some reason. When I got into the situation with the rapper a while ago, that wasn't for me. I was a multimillionaire. I did that for hip hop. And I did it because I seen the future of where it was going. I seen the uneven playing field. I'm from Boston, so I know what racism is and racism does. I love all people. I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I understand the things that break down races, you know. I mean, you can throw a ball around and people will love you and you can hit a ball or you can rap and people, you know what I'm saying? But that's it. And crime. Crime brings races together, meaning you can work for somebody and be out here doing your thing for them and that everything's lovely when it comes to that. But there's, there's still a, a, um, a, a theory, a thought that some people are better than others. Fuck off. And I don't want to hear about the tough guys and everything, what you went through. If you're tough, the tough shit is to, is to give your people a better way of life. Not to kill them off or not to instigate them to kill each other off. That's easy. All you young niggas that's in gangs and doing crazy shit, think about where you're going. Now, if you just want to die and you kamikaze and out the window, there's nothing can stop that. If you kamikaze jumping out the window, we can't stop that. But if you put common sense to it, we are in a place that at least you can build opportunity and have something for yourself if you have patience and work hard. Take it from me, I know. Money don't make the man. It's not about that. Stop getting on social media, bragging, showing off. The problem is a lot of us are looking on social media and you're looking on social media and you're looking at the next person portraying that they're doing so fucking good and it's making you feel bad all day, all night. That goes for women and men. And women. Women. <laughs> so, do you know that a woman is supposed to really carry herself a lot classier than a man. Do you know that that's how it's supposed to be? I don't even be scrolling looking at it. It's like getting on Instagram, showing your titties, your ass, your pussy and all that. That's like, <laughs> you know why that's whack? Because where can you go after that? Where are you going after that? After you show all that and everything, okay, it's there. We've seen it. We've seen it, we've seen it. Okay, we've seen it. We've seen your nipple, we've seen it. Huh? You've seen the titty and the ass and, 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 and the pussy. What else can you see out? That's it. Where else can you go from? What else do you got after that? Hmm? And then you're mad because of the way guys treat you, but or the way that they look at you, but what are you putting out? Hmm? Honestly, man, for real, this shit is getting frustrating. I don't, you know, Zeno's two years old. I had Zeno at 50 years old, and I'm like, where the fuck? What's it going to be like in 20, when he's 20? <laughs> man, listen, like I said, 
Where the fuck are the parents of some of these kids? Where are they? If y'all are sitting back and, and you watching your kid on YouTube and you thinking that what he's doing is fly because you think he's gonna bring some money to the table, money to you, then y'all are fucked up. Get it right. I'm telling you. Because if there is the end of the world, if that really is real, I get it now. Because this shit out here is chaos. This shit all in here is chaos. And if we don't really try to get a hold of it now, it's only going to be worse. So, y'all have a good day. And don't, and another thing. If y'all are waking up every day watching Wendy Williams and checking the blogs, especially niggas, men. If y'all are doing that, if y'all wake up every day to go look at some gossip about somebody and read about what you think is happening from a person who doesn't even know these people, most of these bloggers are miserable, nasty, evil motherfuckers in the first place. If y'all wake up every day, if your life consists of waking up every day, going to one of these stupid ass blogs, one of these stupid ass shows like Wendy Williams to see gossip or to hear um, bad news about somebody or, or something to clown somebody. Y'all need y'all fucking head exam and y'all ain't going nowhere in life. It just shows how much y'all really don't have nothing going on in your life to wake up every day and look at a blog or at a fucking show to talk about other people in a negative that just shows y'all are not, y'all are backwards. So y'all don't even fucking matter anyways. Don't come on my feed asking me no bullshit about no blogging bitch or no blogging ass sissy about what they trying to say about me or anything that I represent. All right? I got love for everybody. I got love for everybody. It wasn't always like this, but I learned. If you make it to 50, trust me, you're going to change. And if you don't change, there's something the matter with you. All right? 100. Every time I try to end it on some old, all right, 100, I can never push the end button right. We're going to do this again. All right? 100. <laughs>